progressively. Todd McClay. Mr Chair, thank you very much. I'm uh, concerned about harm that's done to, uh, by the use of alcohol in all aspects of our community, but particularly harm that's done to young people. For me, this isn't an issue of rights or fairness or equality. It's about changing attitudes, about being responsible and protecting people from harm of all ages, but importantly, protecting young people from harm. Now, Mr Speaker, I don't believe that at the age of 18 you are too young to be able to purchase alcohol or too young to be able to prove that you are responsible enough to consume alcohol. But what I do believe happens in our society is that far too many people of the age of 18 who are associating with those younger uh, are not the role models that we need. Indeed, uh, we've heard from other speakers that their parents, those around them, are not providing the right uh, a role model, the right direction that they should have. And therefore, I am a supporter of the split age uh, and for the following reasons. Mr Speaker, I've uh, run a youth advisory committee in my electorate over the last three years, a group of outstanding young uh, school uh, people aged 17 and 18 who have come together each year to talk about issues of importance to them. And I've asked them uh, to challenge me about some of my views in this area. Indeed, I asked them about some of the things they see with their friends uh, when they're out and about uh, in our suburbs at night time. And what they've told me has concerned me greatly about some of the messages that we're sending to young people around alcohol. And I accept what others in this debate uh, who uh, have spoken have said that it's not just those of a younger age who are being harmed or causing harm with alcohol, that it is people of many ages. But I do believe that many of the messages that we send reinforces the behaviour that develops that has an effect upon uh, uh, New Zealanders uh, as they grow into adults. And these young people in my Youth Advisory Committee, when I challenge them to say what's the number one thing that we can do to protect younger people under the age of 18 from the harm of alcohol, uh, they said to me, put the age up. Uh, but at the same time, they said they didn't believe it was fair for them uh, to be uh, not uh, trusted enough to go out and prove that they could be responsible. For that reason, I believe a system where we have a split vote, where they can purchase and consume alcohol in an environment where there will be others that will be able to take some responsibility for them and to keep an eye uh, on them uh, is a, a very important way forward. It also means at the age of 20 that they can choose, should they want to, to purchase alcohol in a licensed establishment and those under that age of 18 uh, will not be able to choose to accompany them. Having said uh, this, Mr Speaker, uh, this is an issue, as I said earlier, about harm. I've uh, consulted widely in my electorate of Rotorua and have received more than 4,500 responses, advertisements from newspapers, surveys about the views uh, that my uh, electorate has. And resoundingly, as uh, the Minister Simon Bridges said, uh, I have been sent a message that New Zealanders in provincial New Zealand, in rural electorates, uh, in rural areas of New Zealand uh, and in the cities and towns of my electorate are concerned about young people and alcohol and they want to, the age to raise. For this reason, should the split to vote uh, not come through, it is my intention uh, to uh, shelter as many young people as we can of the age of 18 and of 17 and of 16 and 15 from the harm that alcohol does uh, for to help them to be uh, more responsible, to help them to uh, learn about alcohol uh, so that they can be uh, good citizens when they're older and not feature in some of the statistics we're so worried about that I will be voting uh, to, for the age to raise to 20. I won't take the rest of my time because we have moments left others haven't spoken, but can I finally just say to all those who have fought a campaign, it's worthwhile for them to have done so, but they should be respectful of others' views. Uh, this is an important issue to others as a father of four children, I've decided that what I want to do is uh, have more responsibility for them. Thank you. Uh, Chester Burrows, and this debate will conclude at